Welcome, everybody. Thank you uh, so much for being here on a beautiful Friday. Uh, we're here to give an update on the situation at the Department of uh, Tourism and our state park restaurants. We are committing, we are committed to getting to the bottom of this. There are a lot of different investigations going on right now, and I think we can all agree that the most important things are protecting the taxpayers and shining a light on any corruption or any bad actors. <clears throat> As I mentioned yesterday, I welcome the legislature's involvement. The state does business with more than 4,600 vendors, and we welcome audits of any one of those vendor vendors to shine a light on that and hold everyone accountable. I want Oklahomans to know that earlier today, the state filed a lawsuit against Swadley's we intend to protect the taxpayers by any and every means necessary. I also want to let Oklahomans know that I've accepted the resignation of Jerry Winchester as the Executive Director of Tourism. You know, we averaged 9.5 visitors to our state parks for the last couple years. Under Jerry's leadership, we hit 12.5 million visitors this past year. That's an increase of three million people coming to the great state of Oklahoma. Our state parks are on their way to becoming top 10. And I expect that momentum to continue. The state legislature uh, has approved a $50 million bond over the last couple years to invest in our state park system, including a complete renovation of Quartz Mountain, which is a huge asset uh, for Southwest Oklahoma. And I just want to clarify, uh, all the renovations that were done at the different restaurants across the state are now the state's property. Those restaurants are move-in ready, and we're excited to get them reopened. In his role as Secretary of Tourism, Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell will take an even more involved role with the Department of Tourism. Uh, it's, an, it's important that we get to the bottom of this situation. He will make sure the agency is properly managed and is taking all necessary steps to address any issues with vendors or staff. I appreciate Lieutenant Governor Pinnell's willingness to step up, and I expect he'll advise me in real time of any problems or policy changes that need to happen. As Cabinet Secretary, he will also coordinate information gathering for the legislature. With that, I want to turn it over to Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell for a few comments. Lieutenant Governor. Thank you all for being here this afternoon. Uh, I, I want everyone to know, uh, in the 3.9 million people in the state of Oklahoma, that we are going to continue to lead this agency with humility, clarity, and courage. Uh, first off, clear, uh, humility, uh, we are going to make sure uh, that we put the guardrails in place moving forward in this state agency, and I'll work with the legislature and the governor's office to institute those changes. Clarity. We're going to be fully transparent in this process, protecting taxpayers in the investment that we've made across the state of Oklahoma, and courage. Courage to make the decisions needed. We're not going to play politics with this. We're going to make sure that we have the courage to make the decisions and make the changes necessary uh, to make our tourism industry in Oklahoma, as the governor said, top ten. Uh, those of you all in this room that have followed me as your Secretary of Tourism know, and you know what I'm about to say, if you want to see America, you got to see Oklahoma. Uh, I've delivered that line the last three and a half years across the state of Oklahoma, and we'll continue to say it, that no state can match the heritage and the history of the state of Oklahoma. It's really unmatched. We are so unique when it comes to the tourism industry in Oklahoma, and we all, we all want to make sure that it is the shining star that it can be for the state of Oklahoma. And moving forward, I am committing to making it just that. Thank you very much, Governor. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor. Before we close, I wanted to address one other thing. My team keeps getting asked comments. They keep uh, getting asked about comments that Brent Swadley has made. And let me be clear. I do not have any sort of relationship with Brent Swadley. I don't know Brent Swadley. Uh, I have no involvement in this contract. 
I feel like I've met all 4 million Oklahomans at some point and shaken hands in all 77 counties. Uh, but it's troubling to me to see someone using the governor's name uh, to manipulate the system or to try to get their way. Because of the ongoing lawsuit and investigation, uh, we're not able to take questions at this time, but we'll keep you posted as things develop. Thank you.